When I started filming this video, it wasn't supposed to be about this, but it's probably the most important video that I've ever made. So if you're interested in self-tuning your Subaru, or if you're gonna get it mapped by someone else, get it tuned by another tuner, you need to watch this video. What we're gonna talk about is detonation. Now, I've had lots of comments on videos about what does debt sound like? I've seen lots of videos, lots of YouTube videos by tuners, professional tuners, that aren't using debt cans. I don't understand why. They're trusting the ECU to show them when it's recording debt, and I think it's extremely dangerous. Think back to when you started learning to drive. Your driving instructor probably had pedals on their side of the car, whether it be on the left or if you're in the UK or Japan or Australia or on the right if they're sitting on the right hand side. Imagine driving along and relying on the driving instructor to press the brakes for you. Ludicrous, absolutely ridiculous to do that. But that's what some people are doing, relying on the standard knock control within a Subaru ECU. So I've managed to record detonation and also the laptop data logging while that detonation was heard. So I want to talk you through what was happening and what the ECU saw. It is very important. I'm just about to start a run here and the dyno is all set up. The car has been largely tuned, but still wanting to just try and explore whether there's more ignition timing that could go into the map. And the ECU is not seeing any destination. I'm not hearing any destination, but I'm adding a little bits of timing just to help get the extra power, smooth out the graph, those sort of things, all part of the normal tuning process. Okay, so I'm gonna put the microphone in the deck cans, just to see whether I can um, record the sound of detonation. I'm not trying to make it dead, but if it does dead, then um, it might be useful for you guys just to um, hear what detonation sounds like. So I'm just gonna pop that in the mic, in the earpiece, and, um, and then we'll do a run. So I don't know whether you heard that or not, but there was a little tinkle of detonation at about six and a half thousand. Uh, I'll try and isolate that out and um, play it again for you now, just so you can hear what it, the start of detonation sounds like. Uh, the ECU at that point didn't hear a thing, didn't make any corrections whatsoever, which is why you need to have deck cans on when you're tuning. If you didn't have deck cans on, you wouldn't know that existed by looking at the ECU logs. I'll turn it around you'll see that it hasn't seen any detonation at all there still showing zero and zero for not correction and not, not learning so yeah it's important to have deck counts on interestingly the ECU saw nothing absolutely nothing you could carry on regardless the ECU was unaware of anything going on very very dangerous well, admittedly this is just the start of detonation but you know keep that going for long enough and it gets worse and worse and worse and would gently nibble away at the edges of the pistons cause spikes in pressure which could do head gaskets and it's generally not good for the car and this was on a 32-bit ECU which are more advanced than the 16-bit ECUs and it still heard nothing but I could hear it clear as day through the deck cans. 
So if you're self-tuning your car, make a set of deck cans. I've done a video about that. I'll put a link up there, probably. Um, if your tuner, if you're taking the car to be mapped by someone else, if your tuner isn't using deck cans, I would strongly suggest telling them to use them or go to a different tuner that will use proper deck cans to hear what's going on inside the engine rather than relying on the ECU. You know, imagine you're driving instructor and you're driving along, car pulls out and you're expecting him to press the brakes for you and he just happened to be sort of looking down at that particular moment. Um, it's not going to be a pretty ending. Make some deck cans. Buy some deck cans. Make some electronic deck cans. Buy electronic deck cans. But the easiest, cheapest, most simple solution to hear what's going on inside the engine is the deck cans that I made and I'll show you how to make in this other video. Please do it.